Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shoham Mukherjee and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is mainly for those students who are appearing for the FMG July 2025 exam. So you guys have only 60 days left and this revision time period requires a high yield, smart and more disciplined approach. So today I am here with a comprehensive strategy and timetable customized for you in this final phase. So let's get started. So before making this timetable, I have made a few assumptions based on that I have made this timetable. So what are my assumptions that you have already covered the basics once, like if not even thoroughly, you have already studied it once from the main source and you can dedicate 8 to 12 hours per day. Every day you can study 8 to 12 hours for these 60 days and you are using standard preparation materials like online platforms, Preplater, Mero, Cerebellum, eGurukul, anything you are using. For offline coaching, offline coaching se to aap logo ko already timetable provide kiya jata hai. Ye mainly online coaching walo ke liye hai. Jo step study kar rahe, unke liye timetable hai. Jo offline coaching kar rahe ho, agar unko bhi chahiye to aap follow kar sakte ho. So our overall strategy is for 60 days. So I have divided it into three phases. Phase one, phase two, and final phase. Phase one is for 30 days. Phase two is for 20 days, and final phase is 10 days. So in phase one, what we will do? We have to do the revision of what we have already studied and we have to do subject wise MCQs. In phase two, we will do integrated revision and we will give GTs regularly. And in the third and final phase, we will do quick revision. We will do the GT review and we will study our short notes. So starting with phase one, in phase one, we have to do rapid review of all the 19 subjects from day one to day 30. Our target is to cover all the 19 subjects at least once. So Day 1 to day 3, 3 days I have kept for anatomy and physiology. So you can divide it according to your own comfortability. 2 days I have given for biochemistry. 6th and 7th day is for pathology. 8th and 9th is for pharma. 10th is for micro. 11th is for forensic medicine. 12th and 13th is for PSM. 14th is for ENT. 15th is for ophtha. 16th is for derma. 17th is for psyche and 18th is for anesthesia. So coming here, I have kept three days for three short subjects. In case if you have any backlog in these big subjects, you can cover it up here. Suppose you will not take anesthesia one day. You can even study from any rapid revision source on YouTube or you can study from my channel also. I have given anesthesia 30 minutes video in five pages. So you can study from there. Psychiatry also you can do that. Dharma also you can do that. So after studying it in half day, completing all the subject wise MCQs, you can cover any backlogs which you have missed here. Then 19th and 20 I have kept for radio and ortho. These are integrated subjects. 21 and to 23, like three days is for medicine. It's a fast subject. 24, 25, two days for surgery. 26 for pedia. 27 for only obstetrics. And 28th is for gynae. On 29th, so 29th is an important day. On 29th, you should practice all the image-based questions of all the subjects you have studied till now. And on 30th, you have to give grand test. After completing all the 19 subjects, you have to give one grand test. And after giving the grand test, same day, you have to do the review. Doing the review is very much important. You have to do the review and you have to find out what are your weak subjects or weak points. Also, while studying these subjects, you have to, I'm coming to that. So what is your daily plan? Morning 4 hours, you have to do theory revision from your books or notes you have already made. Afternoon 4 hours, you have to, this is must, you have to solve 100 to 150 MCQs daily. This is a must. Like as I told, subject wise MCQs, the subject you were studying that day. And evening 2 to 4 hours, you have to review all the explanations, like which you have made wrong. You have to review all the explanation and make short notes. If you are repeatedly making the same mistake, you have to make short notes on that, why you are making that mistake. And you have to write only the correct answer, not the wrong answer, the question and the correct answer. Also, the grand test you have given on the last day, you have to review those which you have done wrong and make short notes on that. So it's completed. Now coming to the second phase. Second phase, you have to do, you have to strengthen your weak areas which you have already identified during the phase one and you have to do the revision again. So this is the second revision of the weak subject, image based questions and clinical MCQs. So day 31 to 36, you have to focus on the medicine and surgery along with their MCQ. So this phase is mainly for your weak subjects and the high yield subjects. 37, 38, 39th day is for PSM and patho. 40 to 41 is for pharma and micro. 42, 43, 44 is for OBGYN and PDM. 
and coming to 45 to 47 these three days you can again revise the short subjects and 48 to 50 you have to do all the image based revision and again give a grand test so this was your grand test number one and this is your grand test number two this one will be your grand test number two so two grand tests you have already given and you have already made the short notes of the wrong answers and as i already told you have to include subject wise test with while you are studying these subjects now coming to phase three phase three is your final revision only 10 days are left so you have to give regular mock test full length mock test daily like 300 marks mock test daily you have to give and you have to do the revision of the short notes which you have already made like only the wrong answers which you have already made out the things which you are easily forgetting only those notes and also you have to give full length mock daily full length mock i mean like you have to wear your shirt and pant you have to wear your shoes same you have to get ready like the exam day start from 9 give the exam till 5 5, 5 pm and take a break in the middle like half an hour for lunch eat the same food which you are planning to eat on the exam day so like to make your body adjust on that exam day because exam day you cannot like you cannot take a chance right so to make your body adjustable for that exam day you have to practice it for these 10 days ultimate 10 days so how we are dividing it day 51 to 55 you have to revise all the short notes you have made and give one full mock test daily so here you have to give one full mock test per day then 56 to 59 you have to do revisions based on your test performance whatever marks you are getting here you have to do the revisions and on last day the day before the exam you have to do only light revision and you can then relax like after evening you shouldn't study at all and while giving the mock test don't compare it with your friends whoever is giving from other platforms like choose one specific platform and give your own test review your own answers based on your own performance you like set a target suppose first day you are getting 160 so next day set your own target that you want to get more than 160 don't compare it with your friends don't compare it with other platforms like someone getting from one platform this mark so i have to get that marks in this platform that doesn't mean like if you get 200 also before the like in a practice grand test it doesn't mean in the exam hall you will get more than 200 exam is a complete different day so there is no like justification that you will compare it with your friends and give yours like it will give you more stress so you shouldn't do that also you should track your own performance how to track your performance you should maintain a score tracker you should maintain a small diary where you will write your scores and you will check your improvement also you should focus on one miss on mistakes and revise those topics so if you are wrong on one question next day that question shouldn't be wrong any more time so you have to focus on your mistakes also you have to make weekly routine highlights like on sunday you can take a full mock test every sunday you can give a gt this is optional i have kept here 10 days you can give at least five gts here and earlier you have given two gts so five to six gts are enough also every fourth day you have to revise the last three days briefly this is very very important on every fourth day you have to revise the last three days because this is for your memory reinforcement while you are doing these subjects suppose you have studied anatomy on the first three days while coming to surgery or pediatrics on 25th to 26th day you will forget what you have studied in anatomy so every fourth day you should revise what you have studied previously in the last three days now what are the recommended resources already you have many resources still i am recommending some suppose for notes you have to, you can do fmg specific notes like vatia mis stamps or marrow they have their fmg specific notes so you can study from there also if you have made your own handwritten notes that's more than enough mcqs choose one platform you can study from dr deepak marwa fmg solutions or you can use any q bank both are equally good marrow prepared q bank you can use for fmg if you already have some other app that's good you can practice from there only don't jump from one platform to another like practice from one platform only and pyqs is a must you should complete all the pyqs of fmg last five years last five years fmg you should practice plus last three years pg and last three years and i said these three pyqs you should study and last pro tips so you should keep this in mind you should avoid new sources now 
do not jump to any new sources there will be lot of sources on youtube you can revise you can do rapid revision but for new sources which you have not studied don't jump it now in the last phase don't study any new resource and focus on mcq practice you have to daily do 100 to 150 mcqs in the afternoon time as i have already said revise your own short notes and to avoid burnout you can use pomodoro technique pomodoro technique means suppose you can set a timer of 1 hour after 1 hour of studying you can take 10 minutes break again set the timer and do 1 hour put your phone on focus mode avoid social media and use this pomodoro technique it will help you like stay energized for long time so all the best for your exam if you have any doubts or queries regarding any subjects you can like dm me on telegram also i have a telegram study group the link for that is given in the comment section you can join that group it will help you in your preparation and in my channel you will find many rapid revision videos like 5 to 6 pages each subject so you can study those also and if you find this time table helpful give me your feedback in the comment box also please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends who need it thank you